Good evening. How have you been, my lovely students? Welcome to the Balaam Private School Virtual Learning Classes. Today we have a new story. The title of our story is Finding Cal. But in the beginning, let's say, may Allah protect Saudi Arabia and all Islamic countries from any dangers. So the title of our story is Finding Cal. The essential question is, how can a pet be an important friend? In the beginning, let's see what's the genre of the story. The genre of our story is fiction. So what's the genre of our story? It's fiction. What's the meaning of fiction? The fiction has made up characters and events. And events, it has a beginning, middle, and end. So the story finding Cal is a fiction story. The fiction story has made up characters and events, and it has beginning, middle, and end. So this week, we're going to talk about how can pets be an important friend. Pets can be our friends. Pets come in all shapes and sizes. The pets can make us laugh, the pets can help us, the pets can love us. We can play with them and take care of them. So this week we're going to, to read about a dog who becomes a boy's special friend. The name of this dog is Cat. So let's start to take our vocabulary words, our new vocabulary words. The first word is decide. When I decide, I make up my mind. I take a decision, like I decided to maybe to go to a picnic. I, uh, I decided to learn a new language. I decided to cook a meal or a light meal or to eat a light meal. So decide means to make up your mind or to take a decision. I decide to have juice and cereal for breakfast. Different when things are different, they are not the same as other things. When things are different, they are not the same as other things. Like, look at here, if I put some shapes here, look, heart, 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 heart. All of them are hearts, right? They all are the same. What if I put an arrow with them? So where is the different shape? It's the arrow. Why? Why did or how did we know the arrow is the different? Because it's not the same. It's not like the other. So what's the meaning of different? When things are different, they are not the same as other things like I have many different colors. I have many different kinds of books like science books, reading books, math books. So they are different. How do we know they are different? Because they are not the same kind or they are not the same as other things. The brown kitten is different than the orange kitten. They are not alike, they are different. Friendship. Friendship means being pals and helping one another. What's the meaning of friendship? It, me it means being pals or friends and helping one another. So because of their because of their friendship, the kids played together a lot. So what's the meaning of friendship? Being pals and helping each other. Glance. What's the meaning of a glance? It means to look at something quickly. What's the meaning of a glance? To look at something quickly, like I glanced to my watch, like uh, he took a glance at the papers. So this is the meaning of glance. I glanced to see what book my sister is reading. So glance means to look quickly. Prepare to act in the correct way. Proper, when I'm proper, I act in a correct way. Like when I say sit properly, that means sit in the correct way. So what's the meaning of proper? Proper means correct. It's proper to wipe your mouth during a meal. It's proper to sit straight. 
uh, in front of your teacher or it's proper to, to straight in the class. It's proper to obey your parents. Relationship, when you have a relationship, you have a connection with someone. Like I have many relationships, like you have relationships or connection or connections with your parents, with your teachers, with your relatives. This is the meaning of relationship. Our teacher has a good relationship with our class. Stairs, look at this picture, look at the boys, they are staring, you know, staring on each other. So when someone stares, he or she look at something in a steady way with eyes wide open. Look at their eyes. Like she stares at the computer. Trade, when I trade with someone, I give one thing away to get something else. So it's to give something and take another thing in a state of it. Like if I have two red pins and you have two blue pins, I can trade with you to give you a pin and you're going to give me a pin instead it's not like to sell something because when we sell something we will take money instead of it or when we buy something we're going to pay money and take something but here the word is a trade that's me to give something and take another thing instead so when i trade with someone i give one thing away to go to get something else don and lewis trade baseball cards Don and Lewis trade baseball cards. That means they, for example, this one will look at you. He will choose a card maybe, or he will decide which card he will give him, but he will give him a card instead. Okay. So let's revise the words again. What's the meaning of relationship? To have a connection with someone. Friendship means being pals and helping each other. Stare to look at something in a steady way with wide open eyes. Uh, okay, we finished the stir. Decide to make up your mind or to take a decision. Different, not the same, like the other things. Glance to look quickly. Prepare to act in the correct way three, to give something and take another thing in a state. So now get your return practice book. Let's revise the words one more time. Decide to make up your mind. So when I decide, I make up my mind. The second word is different. When things are different, they are not the same as other things. Then we have friendship. Friendship means being pals and helping one another. Glance, glance means to look at something quickly. Proper, when I'm proper, I act in the correct way. Relationship, when you have a relationship, you have a connection with someone. Stairs, when someone stares, he or she looks at something in a steady way with eyes wide open. The last word is a trade. When I trade with someone, I give one thing away to get something else. So, read each clue below, then find the vocabulary word on the right that matches the clue. Draw a line from the clue to the word. Look at something or look quickly means glance. Uh, not the same means different. Correct means prepare. Look at for a long time means to stare. Make up your mind to decide something or to take a decision. Being pals means friendship. Give one thing for another means trade. A connection with someone is a relationship. Choose one vocabulary word from the books above. Write the word in a sentence of your own. I wrote a sentence is the dog stares at the cat, but we can 
choose any word and put it in a sentence like I decide to go to a picnic, like, um, mm -mm -mm. for example, I glance at my watch, I sit properly, I have different kinds of maybe we can say of toys. Uh, I trade my red pen or my red crayon for a sharpener, maybe, or whatever you want. I stir on the TV, whatever you want. I have many relationships or friendships. Okay, now let's talk about the clue words. What's the meaning of clue words? It's really, really, really important to know and to know what's the meaning of the clue words and to use the clue words. So the clue words are the words that come before and after the unfamiliar word. So if we have unknown word or a new word or unfamiliar word in a sentence or in a passage or in a letter, and we don't know what's the meaning of this, of this word, what we have to do, we have to look before and after this word, we're going to find the clue words. The clue words will help us to understand the meaning of the new word. Okay, do you understand? So what's the meaning of clue words? The clue words are words that come before and after the word you're, you are unfamiliar with. You can use these in order to try to understand the meaning. Let's see here. Look at this example of context clues. The underlined words explain what? Polite means he was polite. We don't know what's the meaning of polite, even if you know, but let's see, we don't know the meaning, okay? So what will we do? We will look at the rest of the sentence. He was polite because he knew good manners were important. So he is polite because why? Because he knows the good manners are important. So this, these words will helping us to know what's the meaning of polite. Polite means a good person and it means to know the good manners. Read each sentence, then circle the meaning of the word in bold print. What's the meaning of bold print? It's the dark color or the sick word, okay? Uh, here we have underline the context clues. Number one, a snake will eat my bird. Shrieked came loudly. She shrieked loudly. So loudly means yelled or whispered. She saw a snake will eat her bird. So she shrieked loudly. I think that means she yelled or shot. How did we know? Because we can't whisper loudly because whispered means to talk with a low voice. So it means yells. How did we know? Because the word loudly, the word loudly helped us to know the meaning of shirt. Number two, Jeff was stopped by his pet problem and didn't know how to solve it. He was stopped by this problem and he didn't know how to solve it. So what's the meaning of stopped? Happy or confused? There was a problem and he didn't know how to solve it. So I think he was confused. He wasn't happy because he didn't know how to solve the problem. So these words help us to know what's the meaning of stamped. Number three, he wanted a bit that was, he wanted a pet that was different and unique. Different and unique. So what do you think the meaning of different? Because he said different and unique. I think unique means the same or has the same meaning as different. So the word different helps us to know the meaning of unique. So the same or not like others, not like others, not the same. What kind of when you want, so unique means special, okay? So when you want something unique, that's mean it's want something different than the others. Like I have a unique pin or I have a unique uh, maybe book or I have a unique bag. What kind of pet wouldn't disturb or upset the others? Disturb or upset, that's mean. Disturb or upset have the same meaning. 
We know the meaning of upset to the others. That mean make them angry. So what's the meaning of disturb? Bother or enjoy? So it means bother the others. He was number five. He was so thrilled to have a pet of his own that he shouted for joy. He shouted for joy. That mean he was really happy. He was angry or excited. He was excited, of course. Thank you for listening, grade two. Don't forget to write the meanings of the words in your book. See you later. Bye.